Okay, this uh, simplification, believe it or not, on the idea of the, like I posted previously, and on the ice cream terror. So it's a, a spinning terror, so either connected to like a, a valley roof, Bealy in a hex mesh system, so you'd have a, a large circle up here in a hex mesh, and the top would be pulled up by a, a carriage running around on that Bealy, depending on the, the wind direction, it would, it would pull that, so... Here's the bottom. Uh, if we're looking from below, spinning clockwise, it would um, yeah, be held up by a, a carriage on the downwind point of a belay system up there. Or indeed, like a similar hex mesh under a, a, like a Mothra kite arch, a nice stable lifting arch. Um, so you could use one on that sort of level there. Or you could lift a stack of these. Now, the simplification in this model is I've only got the, where before I had two rings, one inside the other, and between them I had driving kites. I've flattened off the rings a bit, as if they're go it's going to be lifted anyway by uh, an external kite or an external point, then there's no need. And you can simplify the driving units. If you look here, this one at the very top, you've got a small spar, a baton at the front, the leading edge. Um, the cloth, the material, you know, had got a better shape than this for sure, but uh, if that's set to be to be stretched between these two, uh, ro the inside rope and the outer baton, then you can get a fairly nice form on that if the front is battened and you, depending on the cut of your sail you should get a very nice uh, drive there. Now what's holding it in its place is an averaged tethering point between each pair on a ring of sails. So you've got the top and bottom averaged and taken to the rear tethering of the, the ring below. So there's a lot less drag going around. Instead of four cables, you know, four tethers, you've got one for most of the the tether length there, the separation. You've only got one between them. Um, so you can fit a fair few of these kites on onto a large radius, and you shouldn't have have them too close, depending on the speed they're going. So you know this equivalent tip speed sort of. Um, like I say, it's, a, it's an effort at simplifying the design, but still looks like a fairly high part count. But having said that, it's all very, very modular now. Um, so the repairs would be pretty simple. The launching systems, uh, like I said before, you could have it hauled up on belay sets or parachuted. I'm not so keen on the parachute idea. Um, at the bottom, power takeoff was mentioned as a problem before, but I don't think that shrinking subsequent layers underneath would be that hard uh, coming down to a, any driven wheel at the bottom. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. As long as it's tracking the direction of the wind as it runs around, say, on that belay at the top, that's us doing a, a full wind circle, so, you know, tower leaning in all the directions there, as long as you can follow that on the bottom, 